Greetings, Guardians. Welcome to Wicked Quick News. Your hosts today are myself, Dino Sorta, and Steve Rewind. Destiny is finally here. Your pre-order should have landed through your letterbox yesterday. That's if you're someone that hasn't allegedly discovered a tiny loophole being used by Xbox One users. Take this with a pinch of salt, but Steve, would you kindly elaborate for us, please? Well, okay, so it's officially National Sick Day because so many people have basically taken the day off work to play basically a game that they've been waiting half a decade. So basically, over the last 24 hours, Microsoft will have noticed that millions of Xbox One owners will suddenly join a mass migration to New Zealand. Millions of gamers, it would appear, had all packed up their lives and transported themselves and consoles across to the other side of the world and all bizarrely on the same day. Why? What could have caused such mass panic and hysteria? Was the US experiencing an alien invasion or under siege from the zombie hordes? <laughs> no. no. Well, yeah, pretty frankly, no. It was De Destiny was released at 12.01 Pacific Standard Time, thus instigating an exodus of biblical proportions to a time zone where the game may have been already available. Because how dare those smug, upside-down gamers get to fulfill their destiny before anyone else does? How dare you? Unfortunately, this was not the case. And within less time than a one-way flight to New Zealand, the migrants were already apparently back in their countries of origin. Bloody digital immigrants. This has got to be the largest digital migration in history. Um, it was insane. People were using Microsoft's, um, not, not um, the, the, the Xbox One, you can just switch your region whenever you feel like. Yeah, yeah, it's the same way you can switch the region on Netflix so you can get the American titles. Yeah, so everyone was trying to do it by going to like New Zealand um, or Australia, any time zone that had a good 9, 12 hours head start to try and get the game at... 12.01 their time whereas this was a global release or all, all at the same time you know it will come out it would come out in your country say um over here i don't know i think about 6 a.m i don't know when it was or was it 6 p.m i can't remember the servers were launched in the afternoon at a certain period but am i right in thinking that they have to get themselves a, a vpn connection that would give them a foreign ip address well you can basically go on there you preload the game and it is activated dead on 12.01 Pacific Standard Time. So unfortunately, all these people that switched their consoles over to other regions were just wasting their time. But one thing that has come out of this ability to switch your region is that a lot of gamers got Destiny from massively discounted prices. There are several gamers um, that I have spoken to and are on forums who were able to use uh, the region switching to go to places like Hong Kong, use Google Maps to get a Hong Kong address and postcode, and basically pay lower prices. The equivalent, yeah, with transfer of the currency rate. You're joking, it's that simple. Well, in Australia, games are more expensive than in the US and the UK. It's just standard. So each region has its own price setting for the games. So factor in the exchange rate. And yes, there are some people that are getting games for 15, 20 pound cheaper. It's, uh, it's That's crazy. And this isn't even too rife on the internet right now. I mean, how did you find out about this? I know loads of people that did it yesterday. <laughs> Well, like roommates, workmates. Uh, lots of workmates, yes, and, sort of, and other other um, sort of like, you know, people, other gamers that you know, you know, sort of speak to. And yeah, that, sure. I mean. Right, so now I guess this can be taken with a pinch of salt, but boiling it down, people have received the game earlier and for a cheaper price by essentially emigrating via the internet. Well, so far I've not found any evidence that anyone got the game early. But I know for a fact that people did get it cheaper. And, you know, at the end of the day, this just goes to show that this whole open region is a, just a complete mess. I think just basically either run it like it used to be, where everything was uh, was completely region locked and people aren't going crazy to crazy lengths to try and get hold of games and like all this other bits and pieces. Uh, or just have it standardized. One flat price across the world, you know, and one, I don't know, I mean, exchange rates may, may not allow for that, but this has been a mad 24 hours. I couldn't believe just what has gone on just to get hold of this game. And that's basically what next gen gaming or next gen consoles has come to the ability to throw yourself onto the other side of the planet just to get a game early. I mean, would you do that, Steve? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wouldn't. Um, anything more to add to it? That's pretty much it, really. Okay, again, guys, take all that with a pinch of salt, but it's still very interesting. Do you yourself listening have any information to add to this scoop, it seems? Um, leave a comment in the section below. That would be cool. But on uh, Twitter, you can follow us at FGN Online, my personal account at Dino Sorter, and Steve... At Steve Rewind. Thank you again, guys. We have been your hosts at Frontline Gaming, and this has been your Wicked Quick News. Yeah,